You are fools to have come to this place. The icy winds of Northrend will consume your souls. Sindragosa is the final boss in the Frostwing. Cindy can be solo tanked but requires frost resistance gear to survive the second phase. This boss is also divided into two phases. The first phase is divided into two phases, a ground phase and an air phase. In the ground phase, Cindy is treated as any dragon boss, meaning she has dragon breath in the front and a tail whip at the back. Meanwhile, tanks need expertise to avoid getting melee haste while DPS and healers need to stay at the side of Cindy. In this phase, she has three abilities to watch out. Can you feel the cold hand of death upon your heart? Perish! First is blistering cold. She pulls everyone to her belly and after she finishes casting, she does a lot of frost damage which instantly kills players if they don't run far enough from her. Warlocks need to use their curse of tongues before she casts blistering to help everyone enough time to run away from the boss. Suffer mortals as your pathetic magic betrays you! Another mechanic is Unchained Magic, a debuff given to casters and healers which gives them a stacking debuff called instability for every time they cast, which deals arcane damage to the players and everyone near them once the debuff burns out, and increases damage for every stack. So everyone who got Unchained Magic will 100% stop casting unless you are told not to, especially for the healers, and they will stay either on the right side for the healers and the left side the balcony for DPS. For the melee DPS, they will get chilled to the bone debuff. It is also a stacking debuff that deals damage over time depending on how many stacks they have. Melee DPS will stop damaging her if they have 4 to 5 stacks. Your incursion ends here! None shall survive! Every few seconds, Cindy will fly and target 6 players who will get doomed. They will stack themselves by pairs according to the DBM order and stand in the flare provided. Red Paladins should also use their Frost Aura Mastery and everyone who can heal over time abilities to the tomb targets to prevent them from dying. After the tombs drop, Cindy will fire 4 Frost Bombs which is marked with a blue or white circle on the ground and it is an instant kill mechanic if you get hit. So everyone should hide behind the tombs and try to LOS or line of sight the bombs using the tombs. Please note that anyone near the tombs will also get tomb. After the fourth frost bomb, everyone should break the tombs before Cindy lands and it is back to the ground phase. Suffer mortals as your pathetic magic betrays you! Feel the cold hand of death upon your heart! Suffer, mortals, as your pathetic magic betrays you! Incursion ends here! None shall survive! Once we enter phase 2, or at 
Cindy will remain on the ground but she gains a few abilities. She now applies everyone with a stacking debuff called Mystic Buffet, which increases all magical damage received for every stack and she also targets one player who will get Frost Tomb, which is the same as the Frost Tomb in the air phase. During this phase, the first tomb needs to stand at the right side which will be marked with a flare and the remaining tombs will just stand at the left side and die. Please note that the tombs can be dodged the same way as dodging the marks in Deathbringer Sarfan. After the first tomb, everyone who has unchained magic will hide first and then followed by everyone. Please note that tank will need pain suppression and hand of sacrifice when everyone hides behind the first tomb. Once she casts Blistering Cold, everyone will break the first tomb and just spam DPS until she dies. During this part, everyone who have Unchained Magic will need to cross Syndragosa to the other side aka the stairs so that they will not wipe the raid in case they explode with their instability stacks by healing and DPS. In summary, Cindy is just about monitoring your stacks in the ground phase and not dying from frost bombs and Blistering Cold. She is also a DPS race when we reach the second phase, and casters and healers with Unchained Magic will just AFK if they get the debuff until it warns out. Unless the healers are told to continue healing, they will only cast spells during phase 2 after the first tomb is destroyed and they need to do it at the other side of Cindy so that they will not kill players with their instability stocks. <laughs>